Radioactive labeling is a powerful technique used in molecular biology to track and detect nucleic acids and proteins. By incorporating radioactive isotopes into DNA, RNA, or proteins, researchers can study complex biological processes with precision. Let's explore the most common radioactive isotopes and how they are used. Common radioactive isotopes used. 1. Phosphorus. 32. Superscript 3 Superscript 2 P widely used for labeling nucleic acids, especially at phosphate groups in DNA or RNA. 2. Sulfur. 35. Superscript 3S commonly used for labeling proteins, especially at sulfur-containing amino acids like methionine and cysteine. 3. Tritium. Superscript 3H a versatile isotope used for labeling various biomolecules, including DNA, RNA, and proteins. 4. Carbon-14, superscript 1C used less frequently, but is incorporated into carbon atoms in biomolecules for specific studies. Radioactive labeling of nucleic acids. Radioactive labeling of DNA and RNA is used to study gene expression, DNA replication, and more. 1. End labeling with superscript 3 superscript 2P. In this technique, the 5 foot or 3, and of a DNA or RNA molecule is labeled with superscript 3 superscript 2 P using an enzyme called polynucleotide kinase. This method is often used in DNA footprinting and gel shift assays to study DNA protein interactions. 2. Incorporation into DNA or RNA synthesis. During DNA or RNA synthesis, superscript 3 superscript 2 P Labeled nucleotides are incorporated into the growing nucleic acid strand. This method is widely used in southern and northern blotting to detect specific sequences. 3. Random primer labeling. Here, a DNA template is denatured, and random primers are used to create radioactive DNA by extending the primers with superscript 3 superscript 2P, labeled nucleotides. This is often used for generating probes for hybridization experiments. 4. Nick translation. The DNA is nicked with DNase I, and DNA polymerase repairs the nicks using superscript 3 superscript 2P, labeled nucleotides. This method also generates radioactive probes for experiments like southern blotting. Radioactive labeling of proteins. Proteins can be labeled with radioactive isotopes to study their synthesis, folding, and interactions with other molecules. 1. Incorporation of superscript 3S into proteins. Superscript 3S labeled methionine or cysteine is incorporated into proteins during translation. This is used in pulse jace experiments to study protein synthesis, folding, and degradation, as well as in protein interaction studies like SDS page followed by autoradiography. 2. Radio labeling for binding studies. Proteins labeled with superscript 3S or superscript 1 superscript 2I can be used to study interactions with DNA, RNA, or other proteins. For instance, superscript 1 superscript 2I labeled proteins are used in receptor ligand binding studies and coimmunoprecipitation assays. Detection methods. After incorporating radioactive isotopes into nucleic acids or proteins, two main detection techniques are used. 1. Autoradiography. Here, radioactive samples are placed on X-ray film and the emitted radiation exposes the film. Dark bands appear where radioactive molecules are present. Autoradiography is commonly used in gel electrophoresis and blotting experiments. 2. Scintillation counting. In this method, a radioactive sample is mixed with a scintillation fluid that emits light upon interaction with radiation. The light is then measured by a scintillation counter, which quantifies the radioactivity in the sample. This is used for precise quantification in experiments like pulse J studies. Applications of radioactive labeling. 1. Studying DNA slash RNA protein interactions, radio-labeled DNA or RNA is used in electrophoretic mobility shift assays, EMSAs, or DNA footprinting to study how proteins bind to specific sequences. 
2. Gene Expression Analysis Radio-labeled probes are essential in northern and southern blotting to detect specific RNA or DNA sequences in complex samples. 3. Protein Synthesis Studies Superscript 3S-labeled methionine or cysteine is used in pulse chase experiments to follow protein folding, transport, and degradation. 4. Receptor ligand binding studies. Radio-labeled ligands or proteins are used in assays to study receptor interactions. 5. Enzyme activity assays. Radioactive isotopes help trace substrates and products in enzymatic reactions. Conclusion. Radioactive isotopes are invaluable in molecular biology for tracking and studying nucleic acids and proteins with high sensitivity and specificity. Whether it's superscript 3, superscript 2P for nucleic acids or superscript 3S for proteins, these tools are crucial for advancing our understanding of complex biological processes.